Hey, what's up y'all? Back with more videos. Just making sure I get a lot of stuff in. Although it's primarily Nike. So I did jump on a brand black binge for a little while. I'm gonna try to diversify and do a little bit more, but most of the shoes that I'm doing a video for, as you guys know from the beginning, are shoes that have already sold. So Nike simply sells more than every other sneaker brand, specifically in resale. So here we go. This is the Nike Cross Trainer Low. And the interesting thing about this shoe is that it's, um, you know, it's based on the Bo Jackson silhouette, but it was kind of a, t a takedown model that's not quite as, um, I guess, dynamic, but you're talking about an early 90s look for a shoe. And with that comes everything that you get from an early 90s look. And this one's kind of dirty, which sucks. I'm gonna have to clean that. But, you know, it's a basic, very basic look, man. It looks like the Agassi and looks like a, not a lot of other shoes that you've seen before from Nike in the early 90s. So there's not a lot to it, um, but it is Nike Cross Trainer Low. It doesn't even have air cushioning. So this is not an air cushion shoe. Um, the price rings up at only $80. So when you get a look at it, you're like, dog, yeah, it does look like the Bo Jackson. It's basically a takedown model of the Cross Trainer, the Bo Jackson version of the same shoe. But this is the Nike Cross Trainer Low. The color is white particle gray. Of course, you can see the hits of red on the medial and on the lateral sides of the shoe and you can see the Nike at the back with no air. So no air on this shoe, but um, style code is CQ 91A2100. Uh, the SRP is only $80. So for this takedown model, I don't even think this is real leather. You know, it's like a PU. It feels more like a PU than it does a real leather. And the swoosh, same thing. It feels like a PU more than it does leather. What do you say? Um, it does, it's perforated on each side, on the medial and the lateral side and at the toe box, but there's just not a whole lot going on with the shoe. As I said, you don't even have a Nike logo on the insole. You see what I'm saying? So it's just a basic model, not a whole lot to look at. I will go in and um, give you guys the dates of production for the shoe. As you see on the tongue, it says just cross trainer, trainer on the tongue. Um, it's just so weird to see Nike at the heel without the air underneath. So weird. But uh, dates of production are 01-22-20 to 07-01-20. Uh, the small code is LU1 and it's made in India. India. Crazy. That's a first. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a Nike shoe made in India. Go figure. But I mean, let's not stay on this one too long. I looked at that just so I could look at the interior and the stamp that's here. There's an orange dot on the inside as opposed to a QC sticker that says something. It's just an orange dot. It doesn't say anything on it, but I assume that's a QC sticker of some type. Um, the stamp is 2200.70. Man, that thing is all over the place. I can barely read it. It looks like 220.07, which would make sense because that would make it 07, 02, 20. Not sure. Definitely going to have to clean these. You look at the bottom. These were at the uh, factory store and they're doing 30% off. So I think this shoe only costs $40. So $40. You get to a factory store and you have your, um, well, up until 11, 22. By the time I edit this video, it'll probably be January. So you won't be able to do that. Um, I can't move it all the way up because as you notice, the more I move this, the light gets darker using the phone to do the video. It is clear, but the lighting isn't that great. So um, that's it. Let's wrap this up. That's like four minutes, way too long for such a basic shoe, but it does have that Bo Jackson cross trainer look to it. And that's cool. But I will definitely make sure I clean that before I ship it out to the customer. See you guys on the next one. That's it for this shoe. Peace. Cross trainer. Not an air cross trainer, just cross trainer.